What's up, everyone? Welcome back to the Being Beautifully Honest channel and podcast. If you have not subscribed yet, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell if you're watching this on YouTube so you know whenever I do upload a new episode. So this story actually comes from Market Watch, and this is regarding a couple who are being charged with billing plastic surgery procedures as medically necessary to insurance companies and they built insurance companies by billing around 65 million dollars in breast enlargements and nose jobs all right (laughs) so linda morrow she pleaded guilty to insurance fraud after being extradited from israel where she and her husband had gone on the run Linda Morrow and her husband, David Morrow, were accused of running from 2007 until 2013. So they were on the run, people. They were on the run. They had the husband and he's currently serving a 20 year sentence, but she's facing up to 20 years when she is sentenced in July. So the story reads, a woman who ran a cosmetic surgery business in Southern California with her husband pleaded guilty Friday to ripping off insurance companies by billing 65 million worth of tummy tucks, breast enlargements, and nose jobs as medically necessary procedures. Linda Morrow, 69, admitted that she and her husband, 77-year-old Dr. David Morrow, had falsified medical records and encourage patients to undergo extra surgeries in order to collect insurance payments for elective procedures that would not normally be covered. Prosecutors said that between 2007 and 2013, the Morrow's submitted up to 65 million in bogus insurance claims and collected tens of millions in payouts for procedures that shouldn't have been covered at all. To pull off the fraud, Linda Morrow, who served as the executive director of the Morrow Institute in Rancho Mirage, would alter medical records to bill tummy tucks as hernia repair, wow, (laughs) or abdominal reconstruction surgeries, nose jobs as deviated septum repair surgeries, and breast enlargements as surgeries to correct tuberous breast deformity. The couple would actively market their services as coverable under insurance plans and would instruct patients to falsify and fill out medical forms claiming they had come to the clinic to receive medically necessary treatments, the prosecutor said. These cases are gold. David Morrow allegedly wrote to his wife in an email in 2009, according to court papers. So yeah, the paper trail. The couple would also convince patients to undergo multiple procedures at once in order to maximize the amount that could be billed to the insurance companies. In some cases, patients suffer serious complications due to having too much done at the same time, investigators said. A message left with Linda Morrow's attorney wasn't immediately returned. Eventually, many of the major insurance companies became suspicious and stopped paying out on claims. So the couple began targeting patients who had insurance through labor unions, wow, or for working for municipalities, according to court papers. The couple were charged with fraud in 2015, and after David Morrow pleaded guilty the following year, they fled to Mexico and ultimately absconded to Israel using the fraudulent Mexican passports. Prosecutors said that the couple had quietly sold their Beverly Hills mansion for 9.75 million while awaiting trial and had moved 4 million of it to accounts in Israel. While there, they lived under assumed identities with false Guatemalan passports but when Israeli authorities figured out what had happened, 
the pair were extradited back to the U.S. in 2019. David Morrow is currently serving a 20-year sentence, just in time for the CV <laughs> pandemic that hit a year later after that. And Linda Morrow, who has been in custody since 2019, faces up to 20 years in prison when she is sentenced in July. Now that is absolutely crazy, but I'll be honest with you, I definitely don't think that they're the only ones that were doing this. Now, do I know of any people who are doing it? No. Do I think anyone has been doing it on as large a scale as they have been? Possibly. Maybe not. But we know California is definitely one of the meccas in the United States for plastic surgery procedures and one of the most expensive. So if you think about it, there's a lot of people that get plastic surgery done in California that really don't have it like that in terms of their financial capabilities. And I do believe that there are plastic surgeons, doctors, people in their offices who have figured out ways to bilk the insurance companies and bill procedures that they're doing as different procedures because they don't have auditors or people, shall we say, that come into these practices to check on things and really see what's going on. I remember many years ago, I worked for a chiropractor for a short period of time. And one of the reasons I worked there for a short period of time was because I learned that some fraudulent things were going on and he was billing Blue Cross Blue Shield for things that he should not have been doing. And I'm like, I'm out of here. I don't want to be attached to this place. And I, and I did not stay there. And that business was not in business for much longer after I worked there. And I'm not even really surprised. I do, but that is one of the first places that I learned about insurance fraud happening. And he admitted it. Like this doctor <laughs> that admitted it in the email to his wife. And you know, he said, these cases are gold, exclamation mark. It's not something that is uncommon, but yeah, he was admitting it to someone that he trusted. And the chiropractor that I worked in his office many years ago for a short period of time, the person that worked at the front desk, she told me some things that he was admitting to her about what he was doing. And I'm like, this dude is absolutely insane. And I'm like, um, yeah, I'm, I'm out of here. So uh, things like that really do not surprise me at all. Not at all. But I just wanted to share that story. I really would love to know what you all think about this in the comment section. But I, again, I am not for people committing crimes, but these insurance companies, I've said this before. <laughs> I said, if you really, really want to make money, it seems like the insurance industry is the industry to be in because they rip people off every single day. The amounts of money that we have to pay for health insurance, automobile insurance, all of the other insurances, the money that they take for premiums. And where does all of that money go? A lot of it, they never give up on. They never give it up. They are slow to pay for claims. They are slow to handle things that they should be paying out for, but you better have their money or they're, they're, easy, you know, they're ready to cut you off homeowners insurance, renters insurance. Now they have bikers insurance, boat insurance, all of these different things, insurance, insurance, insurance. And they claim, you know, they'll cover you in the event of this and that and the other. But when those things really do happen, they rarely want to pay you what you are supposed to be getting based on you just being covered. Not, it's not about what you pay in, right? It's about what the coverage is that you have and the incident happening when you were covered. So, them being ripped off, uh, am I for insurance fraud? No, I don't condone it. But insurance companies, they can be so fraudulent all the time. I don't know if these people deserve to get 20 years each for what, you know, for what they did, but I'm not having any sympathy on them for what they did. They did what they did and they must have thought it was worth it and at the time, but now was it really worth it? <sighs> well, Anyway, you all let me know your thoughts about all of this in the comment section. Thank you so much for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And until the next time, I'm just being beautifully honest.